Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, well today we are at the new Goodwill in Frederick, Maryland. This is the Goodwill on Monocacy Boulevard. It's not as crowded as it was the last two times I've been here, so I think the newness of it is kind of wearing off, hopefully. Um, but this isn't very big. We're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna head in and do a little shopping, maybe find something to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Well, this place is literally a ghost town compared to the past <laughs> few visits, so. Maybe we'll be able to find some stuff. I like the shape of that vase. It kind of reminds me of Viking, but I don't think it is. How much is it? $12.50. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna pay $12.50 on a hunch. Here is a golfer man. He's made of plastic, very lightweight. This is one of those votives that's actually like carved design. That thing is kind of crazy looking. They had those before, a, a pair of them. They didn't do crazy well. They did okay. Not very much in the knickknacks. Although this guy is quite interesting. It is signed on the bottom. What is he? Is he a tree? I don't know what he is. I do know that this is a cat. No, it's a dog. It's a dog with a monocle. And it's also a shaker. That looks like it could be, um, what's her face? Cinderella. A buck fifty for her. I thought she was wax, but it turns out she, wait, no, she's plastic. All right, only one more row to go. I don't think we're going to find anything today. That looks like it's hand painted. Oh, that's pretty. $5.50. Made in Japan. It was painted in 1930. We have $5.50 on that. I like the design. It's a little bit deco, but it's kind of starting to branch out from the deco period. All right. I'll take that hand painted person. I'm gonna browse through the baggies. This guy was here last week. A whole bag of Barbie dolls. I think those are plastic. Is that a fish? <laughs> a beanie baby, a baby doll, and a fish. some stuffed animals in the baggies. Looks like they could be Boyd's Bears? Pottery Barn, Nicholas Bear. Huh. Oh, and there's a Beanie Baby. Never heard of Pottery Barn Nicholas Bear before. I'm gonna look that one up. Okay, well the Nicholas Bear is not worth very much at all. Golf clubs. What is this thing? Oh my gosh, it's a cat bed. And 80 cents. I don't have a cat and I don't think that Hank would fit in that, but that is adorable and somebody is going to get a nice score on that. Can't tell if this is old or just made to look old. The vote is made to look old. I'm not dismissing the lamps because earlier today I found a Hot Wheels lamp and that was amazing. These lamps don't have Hot Wheels in them. I figured I would check through here one last time to see if there were any matching bowls um, to that larger bowl I got. I think it probably would have originally been a set, but you know it's possible since 1930 they'd been separated. I was just being hopeful.
but maybe a little too hopeful because I'm not seeing them here. Studio Nova. All right. Well, on that note, I think I'm going to go pay for my bowl and I'm going to get out of here. I was getting ready to hop into the checkout line and I found this contraption for $5.50. I think it's supposed to hold a candle and then fold up like a flower. But it's $5.50 and I just can't really, can't rationalize it. So I'm gonna have to leave it behind. And I can rationalize a lot, so that's saying something. <laughs> oh, Schnauzer, L. Thomas. Nice pet. I like his little um, barrel collar. This is pretty cool. I think this was here last week, but I didn't really give it a close look. Um, and it actually has a date on the bottom. It looks like um, 1938. I suspect it's made from pewter. Maybe it's a white metal. I'm not really sure. $4.50 though. What is this thing in the back? Oh my gosh, everything is falling on the shelves. That one doesn't have any markings. Can you just like sit nice? No, you can't. You want to fall over. Okay, well all I bought was a bowl. <laughs> um, and I rounded up. So I paid $7 for the bowl. I've moved on down the road now and I am at the Goodwill in Frederick on West Patrick Street, I think it's called. Uh, but anyway, we're going to head in here and see if we can have some better luck. Here we go. This thing's kind of wild looking, but it's missing one of its hands. That has a made in Germany mark on the back of it. What is it? It's a water font. That's what it looks like, $1.50 on that. Let's see what we've got in Christmas. It looks like they've been busy putting out the Christmas. Mm, but there's nothing real exciting. Not that I'm seeing anyway. All right, well, let's head into the back and see what we can find. Here we are in the lamps, and there are several cording lamps. <laughs> you can either have pink or green. There's also a wicker lamp that was here since last week. Here's a big-eyed little angel. She's got her accordion. Every angel needs an accordion. In the bag, what is that? Six dollars and fifty cents. What are they doing? Lotus China. That's interesting looking. Not really sure what's going on there. She's kind of sweet. I think she's made in Taiwan, if I recall. I got a grab bag with a bunch of these little people in it. I think four in total. And um, I, w I didn't, when I bought it, I wasn't going to sell them, but I got them all out of the bag and they all look so cute. And I'm like, you know what? I'll sell those. Here are some master salt sellers, $1.50. The color is throwing me off a little bit. I don't know if those are reproductions or not. That looks like it could be Waterford. No, full lead crystal is all that it says, but it would have had a clock in the middle. A crab dish that's broken. Mom's tip jar, be generous. <laughs> I like that. There are quite a few teapots here. This one's got a little schmutz on it. Let's see what the bottom says. Folk art. That's why I liked it, because I thought it looked like folk art. But when it's labeled folk art, it's hard to say that it is actual folk art. I think it's just need to look like it. There is an interesting looking jar in the back. Let's take a peek. Rainy Day Fund, hand painted in China. I think that this is the Dollar General marking. I'm not positive about that, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Can't remember who makes this, but I know that one doesn't sell for very much. That plate has an interesting pattern on it. It's Mikasa, Epicure One. <laughs> There's only a single plate though. There does not appear to be more than that. Here's a bowl. A bowl and a plate. And I'm not seeing any others. I did notice this down here. This looks like it's made in South America or Central America, even though there's no markings on it. It's kind of colorful for three bucks and fifty cents. And I think I'm gonna pass on it for now. This is um 
King's Crown or is that a Waterford pattern? I can't remember. That is an art pottery bowl. It looks like it kind of has a glazing defect on there, so not too exciting. That is marked Disney made in China. I wonder if there's an underplate to go with it. That actually looks pretty neat. I'm gonna stick this in my basket and see if I can find anything that looks like it works with that. Although, you know what, it looks, yeah, there's a break on the, you know. Okay, well that Goodwill was a bust. I literally went in, searched all the shelves, and left empty-handed, which is kind of a bummer. But I'm gonna move on now. I still have one more Goodwill to visit. I'm hoping the third time's the charm. We're gonna go check it out. See what we can find. Here we go. All right, third month's charm. There is a ton of Christmas in this box. Wouldn't it be great if there was a ceramic tree somewhere in here? <laughs> I don't think that's my luck, though. Right. That looks like Villa Roy and Bach. It is Villa Roy and Bach Neve Christmas. That's a pretty good selling pattern, so I might grab that. All right, so there's our first item. We in Taiwan. There's like little village people and there's this. Whoa, Christmas poles on the ground. Good thing they're not glass. Well, these bags seem to be just like a whole mishmash of things. What is this one? actually has prices on it that are kind of crazy. Five dollars, twelve dollars, five fifty. I wonder what those are. They're decorative. They're marked PS on them. So PS must stand for something. Alright. It says German on there. I think maybe that's the last one that goes on there. All right, uh, yeah, it hurts, but I'm gonna do it. And here is another one, handmade German. Oh, I see the marking there. Okay, and we'll take a shot from that as well. Let's make sure we see them all though. What are these guys? Those are like weirdos. <laughs> Resin weirdos. Okay, well let's see what they've got over here. This looks like it's another one of those briar horses, but I haven't sold the last one. I don't know how well they do. Kind of got mixed results in the comments, so I'm not going to... I just look so like beat up and stuff. I just don't think that's how much they have on it even. $9.50. That looks like it could be left in, but it does have a chip on it. Yeah, you could tell by the number on the bottom that that's probably left in. There is a giant chip. All right, so I'm off to a relatively good start. I'm gonna move on now to the hard goods. This is cool. Not this, but this. What is that? 39, 49, welcome friends. Gosh, that's a massive piece of art. I think it's all hand painted too. It's got a nice folk art look to it. It's marked. I don't know, this is Huntington. I feel like I wish that the signature wasn't so prominent. Is that a good booth piece? That's what I'm asking myself. I'm currently staring at this thing thinking, oh, is this a good booth piece? It might be. Also, what is this? That's neat as well. Squirrel. I don't know, I might come back for it. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, I'm gonna grab the painting. I just looked up <laughs> H. Huntington sign framed oil painting. The doll painting sold for $225. Looks like a lot of people are putting these to bid, which I'm not exactly sure why they would do that. Because if you look, um, this one sold for 60. This is more of a, um, a buy it now item or a booth item, which is probably gonna be the case with this, but um, this apparently is a pretty pretty good piece. And I've found good artwork here in the past, and just from driving through the town, I feel like it's a little bit more wealthy of a town, so uh, the chances of finding the good artwork are a little bit higher. 
Well, I had actually spotted that vase from the other side. And from the other side, you couldn't see that damage on it, which <laughs> they used a permanent marker to make really obvious. This mug is $1.50. There's no markings on it at all, but I just kind of like it. I mean, it's probably only worth eight to 12. It's got owls on it. I think that's, <laughs> that's the reason, but um, it's not a pattern or I've seen before, so I'll grab it. There's a nice looking Submerso vase. <laughs> is it a $16,000 vase? I don't know. There's no markings or signatures on it, but it has a smooth bottom. Ah, oh, it's got a chip there, doesn't it? You know what? The last vase I passed up that had a, a small little chip, it was worth a lot of money, so I might be wanting to forgive that little chip. I think that's just schmutz. And uh, it might not even be a chip, it's so uniform. Eh, maybe, I don't know. I th you know what, I think I'm gonna grab it. Today is shaping up to be an expensive day at Goodwill. But you know what, we struck out at the last two, so I'm not mad about it. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's broken. That was so anticlimactic, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, I was so excited when I saw that. I just, I don't think I can. I mean, it's a display piece, it's nice, but as a piece for resale, I don't think I can justify that damage, but oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> and there is also one here, actually, this one looks to be an Empoli optic for $4.49. That's kind of an interesting shape, but um, I mean, I usually get like 18 to 24 for these in my booth, so maybe I'll grab this for my booth. I've been selling quite a bit out of my booth, so... I think it's, it's good to grab pieces like those when I find them for a decent price. There are some canisters here. They are Guy Rock China. They kind of had a little bit of a, an Italian look to them. What is this hammered copper? It's Emeki Home? I don't have no idea what that means. What is this? It's got little bumps on it. <laughs> it says Corning. That lamp looks interesting. I think that that is a slag glass. What is it? 17? It also might be agate. I don't know. I'm going to go with slag glass for 17.49. I wonder if it glows. I actually don't have a black light on me. I never have a black light on me. <laughs> I have 7 million black lights and I never have any of them on me. There is probably money to be made here, but I already picked up a lamp for the day, so I'm going to leave that for someone else at $17.50. Someone made this adorable little shadow box and they stuck a bunch of Hagen Renekers in there. I see a duck, a bunny, a kitten, but I wouldn't feel right about buying it just to open it and steal the Hagen Renekers. I think that's just somebody's handmade um, crazy cat lady costume. <laughs> I love the effort that they put into that. Oh, maybe it's not handmade. That is an actual crazy cat lady costume. Okay, well I guess that just goes to show that third time is the charm. It took us three Goodwills, but we finally, <laughs> we finally made it work. Um, I was so excited about that silly and poly jar and then I saw the crack and I was like, ah! But the painting I think is gonna be good. And I think I'm gonna try to convince Andrew that we can ship it. Even though it's probably the biggest painting I've ever bought. It's pretty large. <laughs> um, total spend was $97. Um, that glass vase was 15 the painting was 40 I don't remember. Oh, the Santas were $10 each for the little baggie. I tried looking them up while I was in line, um, but I didn't have enough time to really do a whole lot of research. So not sure how much those will go for, but I'm sure I put an estimated value up on the screen when I showed them. So I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here now. I'm not sure where I'm going next, but I'm sure I'll take you guys along. And I will see you later. It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.